today is Earth Day, a particularly important one, the 50th anniversary, and uh, it is a reminder to us that the Earth matters, uh, the environment matters, our climate matters, and we should still be thinking about it even though we are in the middle of this terrible crisis. And we should also be thinking about the, the interaction of the crisis we're already in, in terms of our environment, in terms of our climate, and the current one with this pandemic, because there is a very strong link there. A new uh, nationwide study conducted by Harvard showed that just a single microgram per cubic meter increase in the common air pollutant PM2.5 can increase the death rate from COVID-19 by 15%. And a study published in Environmental Pollution this month examined the high death rates in Northern Italy, one of Europe's most polluted areas areas, concluding that air pollution should be considered another factor in COVID-19 fatality. So obviously there are a lot of things that influence how likely you are to die, but the pollution that we have been just like, like wantonly pumping into the atmosphere, that is making certain populations far more likely to die. And we're seeing the effects of that uh, in terms of the, the racial disparity um, in America as well. Right. Yeah, that's, that's a great point. I was um, thinking that as well. And just the fact that it's, uh, it's so con confound it's confounding variables or count compounding, I should say, um, when you're in urban areas where, yeah, people who are black are disproportionately affected by the coronavirus. Then on top of it, they're densely populated. And on top of that, it's more polluted. So that's part of the reason that it's affecting New York, other cities more intensely because you're, it turns out pollution, which is bad for you, is also bad when it's mixed with the coronavirus, makes it a lot, lot, lots of bad there. Exactly, exactly. And like this, this new information about the coronavirus, so we can add that in effectively to the death toll every year from air pollution, but it's not like that that death toll wasn't already horrendous and not nearly report at the level it should be. The World Health Institute estimates that air pollution kills more than 7 million people annually. Low and middle income countries are most affected by this pollution, which has been linked to aggressive behavior, attention deficit disorder, heart disease, lung cancer, and more. That's not the combination. That's just what we, the situation we were already in. Um, and, and it doesn't get talked about, like, like if it, literally anything else killed 7 million people that wasn't heart disease, diabetes, cancer, those sorts of things that we know are massive killers, it would be a conversation every day. But when it comes to air pollution, we talked about it more in the early 90s than we do today. And it's still a massive problem. And I want to make sure that especially as we're talking about climate change, like, you need to make sure that the, the, the things that will solve climate change, the issues of climate change are related to a number of other issues, including pollution. That is not pollution and deforestation are not things that we cured back when you were a kid. They are still a massive problem. In fact, increasing both of those. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.